Why'd you shoot all those people? After a massive manhunt, today Frank James appeared in federal court wearing a green jail uniform, sitting silently with his attorneys, only nodding yes when the judge asked if he understood the charge he's facing, committing a terrorist act or other violence against a mass transportation system. Prosecutors argued James should be denied bail, saying the attack during Tuesday morning's rush hour was carefully planned, causing terror through the entire city. After releasing smoke in a crowded train, investigators say he fired 33 rounds before his gun jammed. Police say during the chaos, James shed the distinctive construction worker jacket he was wearing when he entered the station and fled on a train across the platform, blending in with other riders. Defense attorneys requested a psychiatric evaluation and asked the public not to rush to judgment. He called Crime Stoppers to help. He told them where he was. Mr. James is entitled to a fair trial, and we will ensure that he receives one. Though James did call the tip line himself, police say they were already closing in. A tweet posted at about 10.30 in the morning alerted them to the suspect's location. He was arrested hours later, carrying a Wisconsin driver's license, $38, and a second phone. The first was found at the scene. Of the 29 people injured, five remain hospitalized. I get shot in the back of the leg, the back of my knee. And it comes out through the other side. Huare Bencata says he was sitting right next to the gunman. He got himself. That's good. He's off the street. And James will stay off the streets and in a federal jail for the foreseeable future. He was denied bail. He has not yet entered a plea. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.